Hi and welcome to today's video all about cervix dilation symptoms. So I'm going to be talking to you about what cervical dilation feels like and how to tell if you're dilated. I'm Anya and I'm a hypnobirthing practitioner. My YouTube channel is here to support you through pregnancy, birth and motherhood. I bring out a new video every single Tuesday so please consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon so you don't miss my weekly videos. So first I'm going to talk about the four main cervix dilation symptoms that you could experience. Then I'm going to talk about two non-invasive and intervention free ways that you can check yourself to see how dilated you are. So the first possible sign of cervical dilation is experiencing something called lightning crotch. Now lightning crotch is a sharp or shooting pain in your lower pelvis, rectum or vagina. And it's a sign that your baby has descended deep into your lower pelvis and is pressing on ligaments and nerves which could be causing these flashes of pain. It's also a sign that your baby is pressing firmly down upon your cervix, encouraging it to start dilating. Another cervix dilation symptom is losing your mucus plug. The mucus plug is a thick jelly-like substance that your cervix produces during pregnancy to block any germs or bacteria from entering your womb and harming your baby. But at the end of your third trimester, as your cervix begins to thin out, shorten and soften, your mucus plug becomes dislodged. And you may notice it in your underwear or on tissue paper when you're wiping yourself after peeing or pooping. Mucus plugs can vary in consistency and colour, but to know what's within the normal range, please check out my mucus plug video. The link is popping up on the screen right now, but I'll also link it in the video description below. Another cervix dilation symptom is known as a bloody show. Now this can sound a little bit scary and alarming. It isn't meant to be. A bloody show is basically a little bit of spotting that you notice in your underwear at the end of your third trimester. And it means that a few capillaries have broken in your cervix as it started to dilate and soften. If however you noticed bright red heavy bleeding in your underwear, obviously that would be reason to contact your care team straight away. But a little bit of spotting is considered very normal and very natural at the end of your pregnancy. And a fourth sign of cervical dilation is experiencing cramping. When labour begins, many women say that they experience mild menstrual-like cramping sensations just above their pubic bone at the bottom of their abdomen. And as labour progresses, these sensations will last for longer, get stronger and closer together. So the first three signs that I mentioned, lightning crotch, losing your mucus plug and the bloody show, are all signs that your cervix is starting to dilate, but not necessarily that your labour has started. So just to be clear, when you're experiencing those mild menstrual-like cramping sensations, that's a sign that your cervix is actually starting to dilate progressively. But in the lead up to that, if you experience the lightning crotch, losing your mucus plug or the bloody show, your cervix can start to dilate before you experience contractions and you might be like one or even two centimetres dilated by the time your contractions actually begin. So now I'm going to teach you the two main ways that you can check how dilated your cervix is without needing to have a vaginal examination. So the first way is called the purple line. Now this might sound weird or unbelievable, but scientific studies have confirmed this to be true. When a woman is dilating, she may develop a purple or brownish line which rises upwards from her anus to the top cleft between her buttocks. I'll link a real life image to this in the video description below. The purple or brownish line is usually only visible in about 75% of women who are in labour, but it's not usually visible in women whose labours are medically induced. If the line is visible, the more dilated you get, the higher the line will rise up from your anus. It can be difficult to measure this line by yourself, so it's helpful for someone to do it for you. When the line is measured, this table can tell you how dilated you are at a certain point in time. So if the line measures 5.3 centimetres, you're one to two centimetres dilated. If it's 7.8 centimetres, 
you're between three and six centimeters dilated. If it's 8.7 centimeters long, you are between seven and eight centimeters dilated. And if the line measures 9.6 centimeters, you're between nine and 10 centimeters dilated. Like I said, since the purple or brownish line is only visible in about 75% of labouring women, I'm going to teach you another way to check how dilated you are. So the second method involves you measuring the space between the top of your fundus or baby bump and your bra line. At the start of labour, you should be able to fit all five of your fingers between the top of your fundus and your bra line. As your contractions get stronger, longer and closer together, that's a sign that your labour is progressing and your cervix is dilating more and more. Your fundus level will rise more and more as your labour progresses because your contractions will be drawing the muscles of your uterus up and up and up. So you'll notice that as your labour advances, you'll be able to fit less and less fingers in between the top of your fundus line and your bra line. When you can fit only three fingers in the gap, it's likely that you're about five centimetres dilated. When you can only fit one finger in the gap, it's likely that you're fully dilated. Thanks so much for watching this video today. I hope it's helped you to understand a little bit more about cervix dilation symptoms and how you can check how dilated your cervix is. If you've got any questions, please leave me a message in the comments section beneath this video and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And whilst you're here, why not sign up to my next free hypnobirthing taster session on Zoom? I run two every single month and you can sign up to the next one by clicking the link to my website in the video description below. Take care and see you in my next video.